Let's start with the question what is self induction? To understand it, let's take an electric circuit consisting of a coil, a battery having an EMF of 5 volt, and a switch to start and stop the current flow in an electric circuit. Now, we all know that if we switch on, the current will start flowing in a circuit with the highest possible magnitude provided by the battery's EMF. When we switch on, the battery will take some time to flow current as per the capability of its EMF. This means the battery will also take some time to reach its highest possible electric current value and EMF. This time could be significantly less, but there will be some time. As the current varies, the magnetic field strength will also change. As current changes very fast, magnetic flux link to a cross section of the coil also changes very fast and we know that Faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction tells us that the magnitude of EMF and current induced depends upon how rapidly the magnetic flux changes. Now according to Lenz's law, direction of induced EMF and current will be in such a way to oppose its cause. Therefore, writing EMF should begin flowing in the opposite direction to generate an opposing magnetic field so that net current flowing circuit will become zero. Such a phenomenon in which a coil produces a magnetic field which links with its own turning. As a result, an induced EMF is generated across it is called self-induction.